before I ever got into Japanese food and sushi, um, I was going to college and I really loved art. Fell, I loved everything about um, fine art, colors, a set of color theory, and wanted to be a painter, tried to be a painter. Oh. I knew what my aesthetic was and I was trying to create beautiful things and um, serendipitously, long story short, fell into food, started cooking, became a sushi chef and making sushi was the most perfect thing that could have ever happen to me um, in that sense because plating food is very similar to painting but you get a lot more chances. Um, I think a lot of the influence, end of the day, it always comes back to food, and so it's seasonal, whatever is available at that time. You try to focus on simplicity, which is the ingredients themselves, and making them shine. Um, that's how I was taught um, through my Japanese training. But my main influences since then have been very much about, um, you know, it's 2015, the world, media, uh, um, social media, Facebook photographs, Pinterest, it's everywhere. I'm applying a lot of that, but rewinding five years, ten years, before it was all about cookbooks. That's why I came up with looking at cookbooks and, and you know, Charlie Trotter and later on, El Bulli and just that incredible perfection on plates that's three-dimensional, like sculpting of actually something that's edible. Um, once I started doing that and really being inspired and later on um, working with talent together, um, that's where my inspiration came from was through people later on, I think, for the most part. My style has always been about, it's been very Japanese because that's how I was trained. Um, again, about the ingredients. But over time, my style kind of um, evolved in a sense to where I really, um, I don't want to be the same as other people. I want it to be unique. And um, I love asymmetrical presentations on plates and as well as anything, architecture, or, you know, when things are like balanced because it's the same as left and right, I just want to move the right just a little bit, you know? And I think with uh, looking at Uchi or even Ko, Uchi Ko here, um, you know, my planning is also about functionality. It's about Everything is shareable, everything is chopstick friendly. And so the plating itself is relative to, it's not just colors, it's not just textures, it's actually food that people are eating and sharing. A lot of our food is still pretty traditional in Japanese, uh, but we try to kind of turn it on its head and make it a little more accessible to American people. I think sometimes you go into it with an idea of, of of you saw something, you're inspired by something, whether it's through another photo, another dish, or nature, or anything, and you go into a dish with that, that's half the time. The other half of the time, there's just the components, the ingredients, and you make a dish, and it just comes together. And that's the beauty of it, because it's funny that plates, you could, you could get, for example, you could get 10 to 20 plates here tonight at Uchiko, and one, we might have worked on for six months and just finished it. And when I came up with, like, I just made it like during service on the fly. You know what I mean? And I love that, that it could be either or. Crafted, crafted, thought through, um, detail oriented, um, really focus on the most important word is consistency. You know, anybody can make a great plate once, but I think if you go back to your main question, um, it's really about if we have made a mark on the culinary scene here, it's not because we make one dish once, it's because we make a great dish the same 5,000 times. I don't know. Mm. Maybe it is. Fun. Maybe it is art, but it's not. It's a different kind of art, you know? If you look mm -hmm. at some of the stuff that's been done in the past, especially the Ferran Adria stuff, the Elbowee stuff, and it's it's the most gorgeous food you've ever seen in your life. It's, it could be hanging on a wall in a museum, right? But, but you get to eat it. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, to me, much more valuable than something that's printed or on a piece of paper or painted, for that matter.
I hope that we've had a positive influence. I don't want to say that every place is, is the same or emanating the same, because they're not. But I hope that we have tried to raise the bar in Austin. So people that are opening new places and trying to do their own thing go off of our success and are everybody successful themselves. That's my goal.